if you're running um, an online newspaper, hyperlocal newspaper, you may film like this. Um, you may think about filming little segments of council meetings or local democracy or what you will. But also sometimes, you know, get a little bit of feedback. So I'm here with um, uh, Councillor Martin Kerrin uh, from uh, from the in the Thurrock area. So I just quickly ask, ask him, uh, Councillor Kerrin, do you find, could we film the council meetings, do you find them useful? Oh, very useful. I, I, I think that democracy should be open and I think you can't get more open actually filming the things that people say and, and the things that people vote on and it makes it accessible for people who can't attend the meetings but want to be involved. Uh, if Parliament and National Authority is filmed then why not Thurrock our local authority being filmed? So uh, when we've been filming your meetings for maybe about um Gone about five, six years. Well, time time, time flies. In, yeah. yeah. Um, what is useful about film as opposed to maybe the written word or indeed audio? Well, I think with film you can actually see um, mannerisms, um, how the other councillors are reacting to people speaking. You, you can sense the atmosphere of what's going on in there because there have been meetings where, you know, the standard of behaviour hasn't been great and that's been reported. But equally, you see when the council is at its best as well when members are working together putting aside party differences to, to work for the betterment of everyone in Thurrock. So uh, I think with filming, it just makes it more open and more transparent, and I'm certainly happy for it, and, you know, moving to committees being filmed, I think that would be a good idea as well. Brilliant. Thanks for that, Martin. I really appreciate that.